Hi everybody, once again, it is your digital technology librarian, Christy, here for you, and I am bringing yet another set of recommendations for this weekend, uh, but this time we're going to change things up just a little bit, and rather than recommending a series of films, we're actually going to focus in on some really fantastic television shows that are also available through one of our uh, video services. And again, as always, these are all available for free with the use of your library card. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get started with some selections from Klebnet's Overdrive. Now, if you're out there and you were a fan of the Downton Abbey series, or say, um, the Upstairs Downstairs series, uh, and you're interested in sort of the interplay between servants and say, like, the Lords of the Manor or anything, there's a really fantastic little show called Emma of Victorian Romance that's available on Clevenet Overdrive. And one of the things that's really a little bit of a tweak uh, would be that rather than a live action series, it's actually animated. Now, I know a lot of us, we, we think about animation and we generally will think that things are more targeted towards kids, but this is definitely not the case. It's definitely a show that's designed for mature watchers, um, it's a really beautiful story that um, really highlights some of the fascinating themes that are sort of hit on on shows like Downton Abbey. And it's also, if you dive a little bit deeper, interesting to see how um, the Japanese viewed that Victorian era of very sort of stilted um, interaction and how everything had its proper order and and it's it's a really fascinating watch. Uh, very entertaining, and it's two seasons long. Uh, each episode is less than 30 minutes, but it's 100% worth it, uh, to give it a try. Even if you're generally not an animation fan, I would strongly recommend it. It's a lovely little romance, so um, Emma, a Victorian romance. Highly recommended. Um, another recommendation I have for people is uh, for anyone out there who's sort of fascinated by tiny houses. Um, I know I've been fascinated by this tiny house movement for years at this point. Um, and there's a really cool little show called Tiny House Nation that's available, um, several episodes long. And it uh, follows uh, couples and families that are moving from you know, your standard sized homes, and they're downsizing into these very small spaces that are, you know, usually tops around 200 or 300 square feet. And those are some of the larger spaces uh, uh, that are that are covered. And it also sort of talks about how these buildings are created, the things that architects need to take into consideration. Uh, so it's a really cool watch if you're interested in tiny homes in general. Uh, it's also great for people who like HGTV and just sort of uh, enjoy seeing other homes and the way that different buildings are built. Uh, very, very informative and really fascinating called Tiny House Nation. Um, and my third recommendation from Overdrive uh, would be Great Lake Warriors. Um, if you were have ever, if you've ever watched um, the old series about um, the crab boat fishermen that, and the adventures that they would have, um, Great Lake Warriors definitely takes a lot of storytelling elements from that, uh, and it follows uh, this real life uh, captains from different parts of the different Great Lakes, and it follows them as they go on, you know, their uh, different journeys and it goes through when they're dealing with inclement weather, um, difficult catches, difficult jobs in general. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really interesting. I, I wasn't aware of all of the history and, um, the different difficulties that they would have to face on the Great Lakes. I mean, I know a lot of times for me anyway, I think of these landlocked areas, uh, and bodies of water that aren't, say, like the big oceans in Alaska, where you're always hearing about the deadliest catch and things like that. But there's a lot that really goes into it that I learned through watching the series. So Great Lake Warriors, fascinating uh, view if you just especially are interested in uh, stories from around the area uh, and just in this region in general. Now on Hoopla, you have an even wider range of really fantastic TV series to check out, um, especially since Hoopla uh, recently made a deal with 
not only Acorn TV, but also BBC, in that it has a ton of phenomenal British television series available now. So if you are a fan of that kind of storytelling, whether it be towards the more uh, procedural style shows or the comedies, there are so many on there. Uh, even if one of the things that I recommend doesn't um, sound all that interesting, definitely check out their TV selection because there's 100% going to be something that you'll find interesting. Um, so for our more uh, pop culture, contemporary fans, uh, there is a show that probably a lot of people have already heard about, of course, uh, called Rick and Morty. Uh, it was making its way through like convention community and things like that um, years ago, and it still remains quite popular. Uh, it's a really strange, weird, funny show. Uh, it was originally aired on Adult Swim, and it follows the misadventures of this genius scientist uh, along with his slightly less than genius grandson. Uh, again, massively popular show. I'd never actually, to be honest, watched this, uh, an episode of it until I watched it on Hoopla, but that's one of the reasons why Hoopla is so great. You can try out all of these different shows uh, with very little commitments, and it's totally free, again, with just your library card. Uh, and the show was really clever and funny, and so it was a chance to sort of start to understand all of the Rick and Morty references that I read about on an almost daily basis throughout like pop culture and social media and things like that. So Rick and Morty is available the first full season. So um, check that out if you are interested. Um, more for our fans of British storytelling and mysteries in particular, uh, there was a recent remake uh, an ad adaptation of Agatha Christie's and then there were none and it is an amazing adaptation they went all out the production is amazing um, the acting is phenomenal they put together a really really great cast of British actors including um, like Aiden Turner uh, Charles Dance I mean the performances are really really spot-on and if you are a fan of Agatha Christie this one is such a great performance uh, series of performances and um, it's it's really well done whether or not you're already familiar with the story or not uh, it's fantastic mystery uh, highly recommended and then there were none um, the other thing I was really excited to find on Hoopla and I had no idea that this was available already is Mr. Mercedes uh, it's an adaptation of Stephen King's uh, Mr. Mercedes series of books, and it follows a, an aging former detective who is plagued by this unsolved serial killer case that he had had before, uh, and suddenly the serial killer's cases start popping up again, and he's in this sort of cat and mouse situation with this um, criminal. And it's sort of that sort of storyline where the two play off of one another. And it's so well done. I mean, Brendan Gleeson does an amazing uh, job as the main character. And uh, he he's always so good at expressing all of the frustration and, and the tension that's in this series. Um, if you are a Stephen King fan and you've never had a chance to watch it, and it has, and it was a very limited kind of series, it was... Uh, not like on any of the major stations. So this is a great way to get get a chance to watch it. Uh, so Mr. Mercedes season one is available on Hoopla. Uh, and finally, uh, if you like British television, uh, Call the Midwife. Several seasons are available on Hoopla and it's a fantastic show if you like history. Um, it's dramatic, it's moving, and it follows this group of young midwives who are slated to work in this slightly less affluent part of London and it's all of these stories about their relationships with one another but also their relationships with these women that uh, they become involved in their lives and it covers a lot of the issues that the women would have been dealing with uh, in the time period which is the 1950s and the costuming is amazing uh, everything about it is a really great show so like I said several series seasons are available so definitely make sure you check out call the midwife if you like um, period piece uh television or film it's definitely a great option for you 
Now, lastly, I just have one uh, recommendation from Canopy, but it's a big one and it's an amazing, amazing series um, called The Story of Film. And there are several episodes to it and it really goes quite in depth on tracing the history of film all the way from early, early silent pictures uh, all the way into contemporary. And it's interesting how many different points of view that they come at the sort of theme of, of filmmaking. You know, they talk to actors, they talk to directors, to set designers, uh, all of these different elements. And, you know, it really allows you to sort of appreciate just how much goes into creating a film. Um, it's fantastic, obviously, for people who are already film buffs, but I think it's also great for people who are maybe not super invested either, who just like to know how things work. Um, that's the way that this, this st these stories are sort of woven together. It's not something that you already have to know all the lingo to really get um, caught up into. It's easily accessible and it's absolutely fascinating. So definitely check out the story of film. Um, every single episode, which I've, all of which I have watched are amazing and really, really interesting. So make sure that you check it out. And with that, that is just one more week of uh, recommendations. Uh, please do check out both our television and film options that are available through all of our different services. Um, if you have recommendations of your own, as always, please comment. Let us know what you're watching. Um, let us know what you recommend other people check out. And, you know, outside of that, I hope everybody has a great weekend.